I created Romeo Beckham in FIFA 23, the second son of David Beckham. He recently signed for Brentford in the Premier League, obviously, but only for their B team. He also made headlines for being an Arsenal fan. When your dad is David Beckham, your father's a Manchester United legend and you still can't go for them. That is one hell of a way to get yourself out of the will. But today, we are going to make Romeo Beckham better than David Beckham, his dad. We are going to train Romeo Romeo Beckham, give him as many drills as we can to hopefully skyrocket his overall. Not with finishing like that though. Yeah, bang, that's way better. Until eventually he surpasses his dad's highest overall of 92. That is David Beckham's highest ever overall in FIFA. At 19 years of age, we've given him a 60 overall, so we will see if he'll be able to do it, but that's a long way to go. So before we begin, people, be sure to like and subscribe if you are indeed new, and stay tuned to the end of the video to hopefully see Romeo Beckham lift up a Ballon d'Or. Could he maybe end up at Arsenal later? Or could we see another Beckham in the seven shirt at Manchester United? And of course, I'm back in the game as well with my terrible fashion choices. Bro. I mean, just look at me, bro. Am I a football manager or am I like a wannabe 70s rock star? So these are Romeo Beckham stats. You can see the shooting, the passing, and only the dribbling's a little over a 60. 60 overall flat. He really does stand out in this Brentford starting 11. So I don't honestly think he's going to play much game time this season at all. He is on loan for this one season from Inter to Miami. So I think we'll just train him up this season, see how high he can get up with his overall and then send him back to the MLS where hopefully he can get a bit more, you know, of a footing. We will move on quickly in the early seasons only because I'll be shocked if he gets any significant game time at Brentford. But here we go, season one. And before we keep going, people, I have something huge I need to announce. Is this thing on? Wow, I can't believe a season like this again, Klopp will have to go. I don't want them to get relegated. I don't think they're going to get relegated. No! <laughs> I thought you had it. No, wait, no, cut that out. Cut I can get, yeah, I can actually, get, I, cut that out. So no, 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 no I'll, I live. I'll cut it, I'll cut it, I'll cut it, I'll cut it, I'll cut it. Don't worry. I have started my own football podcast called Box to Box. It's a weekly podcast going up every single Tuesday and I get a brand new guest on for each episode. And I've already had blokes on that you already know, like B Ford Lancer, S2G, Jared HD. And to celebrate the launch of the podcast, I am giving away $500 to five people that A, subscribe to the Box to Box podcast on either Spotify or Apple, and B, follow the Ned's TikTok where we'll be posting all the clips from the podcast each week. Do one or all of those things to enter the giveaway. The winners will be announced on the 28th of February. The links to the podcast and the TikToks in the description now below. I'd love for you to be a part of it. Love for you to be a listener. And I'd love for you to also give me some ideas on who you would like me to get on as a guest. The Box to Box podcast is live, people. Best of luck in the giveaway. Let's continue on. So in Season one with Romeo Beckham, Brentford only just managed to survive, thankfully, in the Premier League. Romeo Beckham somehow actually managed to make 19 appearances in the Premier League, 21 for the season, but only scored one goal. Uh, that is not great. I don't know if that's coming off of the bench or whatever, but uh, not amazing. He did get up to a 64 overall, so I mean, that's not too bad. Hopefully, he'll do quite nicely back at Inter Miami in season two with the MLS. And of course, where Romeo Beckham goes, I follow. I am now the Inter Miami manager, baby. And of course, that means Romeo Beckham is back at Inter Miami as well. He's done with his loan, and in this team, he'll probably have more of a chance to shine. In fact, the guy playing right midfield right now is pretty well the same overall. So I reckon we can pretty well just chuck him out, put Beckham in, and see how he gets on. Now, the MLS starts in February, so we're actually picking it up halfway into this season. But nonetheless, hopefully Beckham can shine in about a half a season or so. Tough start for Romeo Beckham in the return they just missed out on the top seven again the way mls works there's a conference finals and blah 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 you know americans but with all the training and everything we've been doing we've been able to get romeo beckham up to 67 at the end of this mls season in only just keep in mind about a couple of months so that's pretty bloody good one goal in only nine appearances isn't great uh, and we still don't have a single assist for this man's career considering his father had some of the best passing ability ever and was probably one of if not the best crosser of the ball ever. I would like to see that get going. So, a bit of a turbulent start for Romeo Beckham. He was in the Premier League and then he came back to America. Only played half a season. Now we have a full season with Inter Miami. He's settled. I think this
this is the point we really get going. Yeah, okay, now here we go. We've got a brand new season of the MLS and it's in full swing. And in Romeo Beckham's full first season back with Inter Miami, they finish in second place, just behind Atlanta United in the Eastern Conference. And in the finals, they are beaten by Atlanta United in the conference finals. Regrettably, unfortunately, no MLS finals for Romeo Beckham this season. But goodness me, he had a breakout season for his father's football club. He has scored 16 goals and got 19 assists. That is more like it. He wasn't obviously doing it at Brentford in the Prem. Maybe it was a bit too early for him. But he has settled into it now. And look, he has got six plus overall in one season. That's amazing. He actually shoots up now to a 73, which equal highest rated player in the team along with this Gregor fella. He's higher rated now than Gonzalo Higuain. My Lord, man, what happened to you? 36 years of age. All right, fair enough. But I mean, come on, bro. Messi won a World Cup at that age, basically. Terrific breakout season. Still sadly no trophy wear. And this is the last season that he has contracted at Inter Miami. So on to season four. We've made Romeo Beckham the captain. His dad owns it and his son captains it. Let's win Romeo Beckham a trophy for himself and for his dad this season. And then maybe we'll look into a move. Once again this season, we see Inter Miami finish in second. Atlanta United seem to be dominating the conference. But Inter Miami are the ones that get out of the Eastern Conference and so we are playing an MLS final against Minnesota United. I'm making a judgment call. Gonzalo Higuain is now 69 rated. Normally I would say nice after that but that's not nice. I'm going to replace him with Campana up top and Romeo Beckham will lead him out as the captain to try to win his first piece of silverware. Is this finally going to be the moment for Romeo Beckham? Romeo Beckham leads out his father's team onto the pitch and out onto the stadium that his father is playing all the time at LA Galaxy. David Beckham won the MLS. Will his son now win the MLS? It is go time, baby. Come on, let's do it. Come on, right hand side. Beckham is going to take him on. Oh, he surprised the defender. Cross the ball in there. Not a bad delivery, just like his dad, but not quite the goal. Cross. I do see an option there. It's not a bad one. This time, no, this goalkeeper is ridiculous. Well, we just can't seem to get by this bloody cracked goalkeeper at this moment. Hopefully, maybe in the second half, we'll find the breakthrough. A little look. That'll do. And he's on. And that is a lovely delivery. And this time, are you kidding me with this goalkeeper, bro? Like, I just beg one save you don't make. Is he on a chance here, maybe? Something here for Beckham. He's still got it going. Beckham, Beckham! All the way! Romeo Beckham has done it. I don't know how he's gotten through that pair of legs. He has, no, it's just somehow squeezed in. The goalkeeper's made all those saves, and yet he finally can't stop that. Captain Romeo Beckham scores in the final. You finally knew that he would. There we go with about 10 to spare. Up over the top. There'll be another chance. Oh, that is a tidy touch. Deflection. And it's another one for Beckham. And Romeo Beckham has surely sealed it now. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, phenomenal. Ball up over the side. Look at that tidy touch to get it to him. And I think it might have been slightly deflected. Let's see. Was it touched on the way? Not really. Oh, the goalkeeper was doing ridiculous in the first half. Now he can't do nothing. What a goal, Romeo Beckham, you beauty. What a superstar. Brace in the final. I don't think we'll have a chance at the hat trick no we won't hey i won't complain it's still a trophy finally at last for romeo beckham he has done it just like his dad did it except you'd have to argue he probably did it even better than his dad he scored both of the goals surely no better way than to walk away from the mls and take the next step in one's career than after winning it there you go romeo beckham lifted high lifted grand it's done it is over MLS has been conquered at last. The son winning a trophy for his dad's football club in the stadium he used to play in all the time. Just saying, it doesn't get more magical or special than that, surely. He does it by scoring 10 goals and 8 assists, only in 30 appearances, so a bit limited this time around for whatever reason. But that is still uh, not too bad of a season, I would say. Is he ready for a move back to England to a top five league? He's 75 rated. He's only gone up by two. I say we start hearing out some offers for him anyway. Let's see who's keen on picking up Romeo Beckham. We're getting a lot of offers early on. We've got Antwerp coming in for him. We've got Atletico Madrid, which is an intriguing one. But at 75, I don't know how much he'll play. Galatasaray as well. But to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of maybe still, you know, open to more offers. Well, I can report that we have now found him a new club. It is in the Premier League and it's Leeds United. Wow, they came in with the offer. He's got some competition in this team. Sinistera is definitely going to be a lock. 
Jack Harrison, they've got Dan James as well. But hopefully if we continue training him up, Romeo Beckham should eventually maybe overtake some of those guys and be a lock in the starting 11. Romeo joined in January, so we're about halfway through a Premier League season and Leeds are doing quite well. Leeds end up finishing in eighth place, so brutally close to seventh. I don't think that means they get into European football now. And Romeo Beckham barely made any appearances. He made three appearances only, just went up by two in half a season, which again, isn't bad. But bloody hell, what happened? Did he get injured? Did he just not get picked? I don't know. Maybe the overall's not high enough, but he's gonna get there. Again, just probably one of those awkward half season signing ones, okay? Hopefully a full season under his belt at Leeds will go way, way better. He has struggled so far, Romeo Beckham, in the Premier League. Can he finally show what he's made of and prove he is not just an MLS player? Season number five for Romeo Beckham, 77 rated, surely now, he will start impacting in the Prem. And people, I can't believe what I am seeing, but Leeds United at the end of the season with one game to go, they are in a position on the final day to win the Premier League. Arsenal could win, even Chelsea and Liverpool on top of the table. Guess who we have on the final day? It is Liverpool. We play Liverpool final day of the Prem. If we beat Liverpool away at Anfield, there's a chance we could win the whole thing. And Romeo Beckham's gone off. He's gone up by five in one season and has 50 no, 16 goals and 28 assists. Are you kidding me? At long last, he has turned up in the Prem and my lord, the wait was worth it. Shout out to this bloody Guinean striker who's gone off with 25 goals as well. We're going to be without two starting 11 players for the final game and that sucks. This would be absolutely incredible. Incredible will it happen though. David Beckham won a couple of cheeky Premier Leagues, but none would be as impressive as what Romero Beckham would possibly do here. For the most incredible title win right up there with Leicester, maybe even bigger than Leicester's. Here we bloody go, lads. Get out there and let's pull off a miracle. Holy God, this is huge. Final day of the Premier League. Who's going to win the title? Bang. Oh, that's a gigantic tackle on Salah. Get a chance up in over the top. Will he get there first? He'll go for the dink here. It's in! It's Romeo Beckham at Anfield. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ball up over the top from Anderson. And what a chip over. Oh, Allison. Leads lead at Anfield through Beckham at the cop end to win a Premier League. I'm sorry. This is absolute dreamland stuff. Bloody Ghanaian in there as well. Oh, is it going to be on? I think it will be. Oh, it's a second for Leeds. And it's an American. It's Tyler Adams. Oh, ho. Oh. We were aiming for the big striker. Didn't quite get to him. And how in the world? Robertson, he's keeping him on side. He's having a stinker in a bloody title decider. Klopp knows exactly what's up. Robertson's about to get shipped back off to the SPFL. Don't think, no, we won't have any time. Holy crap, we're 2-0 up. If Arsenal win their game, however, all of this means nothing. So let's hope to God they're not winning. Ho oh, oh, ho, they're tied. They're tied against Nottingham Forest. Please, Nottingham Forest. This could actually happen. This would be one of the most miraculous things I've ever, like, I've ever seen. Oh, there's a goal update. There's a goal update. Arsenal have scored through Jesus. No. Oh no, terrible spot to give the ball away. And a goal! Liverpool have snagged one back now. Well, this thing may not be over yet anyway. Please, Nottingham Forest. Well, the game's over. I don't know if Arsenal have won or tied their game, but things don't look great. We aren't going crazy in celebration. I don't think we've won this. Fans look happy-ish, but no one's going mad, so... I think we've only finished second. We have indeed. Nottingham Forest lost to Arsenal. Arsenal win the Premier League. Leeds finished second. That's amazing. I would have taken that 100% at the start of the season. But, ah, oh, to think. Romeo Beckham could have been a Premier League winner with Leeds. It would just be amazing. Even if Manchester United and Leeds are rivals. That would still be crazy. No title, but all that training finally has paid off with Romeo Beckham. Just a sheer amazing, like, full season. May not have resulted in the trophy, but all that training has finally paid off for Romeo Beckham. He's 82 rated. He is bagging goals and assists like crazy in the Prem next season. God, what are Leeds going to do in the Champions League? It does appear Leeds have made the Carabao Cup final, so maybe this could be Romeo Beckham's first piece of silverware in England. Keep your eye on the number 37. Oh, not a good start here. And it's going to be Haaland to put him in front. Oh, 
surely not another one for Haaland. He's just... This goalkeeper is useless, man. Oh, for Christ's sakes, they've given him a hat-trick in 28 minutes. Haaland has scored a hat-trick, but only has an 8.3, 8.2 rating. How on earth is that even... How is that possible? Oh, and they're going to make it four. Oh, it's a slaughter. Oh, it's going to be four. Oh, my God. It's four for Haaland. 5-0. Well, thank Christ that's all over because that was an absolute just catastrophe. I just hope a terrible game like this doesn't have ripple effects for the rest of the season and beyond. But look, Man City win the final. Let's just move the, the hell on. The quicker we forget that game, the better. Let's just go to the end of the season. This season, uh, Leeds do not repeat their title push aspirations. In fact, they finished 20 points off the top of the table. Lost a Carabao Cup final. Nearly made an FA Cup final. Got dumped out by Arsenal. Manchester United later ended up winning it. Hilariously, these are the two teams I would most like Romeo Beckham to go to next. Either the club he supports or the team his dad made himself a legend at. And in the Champions League, while Leeds did well top their group, Sadly, they were instantly knocked out by Real Sociedad in the uh, in the round of 16. Sadly, just a season of coulda, woulda, shoulda for Romeo Beckham in Leeds. I mean, he coulda had a 2020 season, but he fell one goal short. 19 and 20, though, still very, very good. Up now to an 85 overall on the right wing. He could go to almost any team in the world. And you know, with Leeds now out of the Champions League, out of Premier League contention, it seems, even though that one season was a total flu, I'm going to keep looking and seeing if Arsenal, Manchester United, or maybe someone else makes a huge offer for him. Who will take a chance on an 85-rated 25-year-old Romeo Beckham next season. Well, people, I can tell you an offer has come in for him. And it was for none other than Manchester United. A Beckham is back playing for Manchester United. And of course, we had to give him the famous legendary number seven. And to be fair, the team could definitely do with him. Only Anthony Alanga playing at right wing right now. So we'll get Beckham in there. He's going to be very good and definitely a big improvement. Wow. How successful will this team be with Romeo Beckham back in it? Who knows? But let's find out. Surely we're going to finally get a piece of silverware with Romeo Beckham in England now. The Beckhams are back, baby. And of course, I follow Romeo Beckham everywhere he goes. Back at United, how does his first season go? Well, I don't know what the hell's happened to Spurs, but they have managed to win the title. We finished with 88 points, which is normally a Premier League winning season sometimes. And it's not for us this time. It's only third, but it's Champions League. Speaking of Champions League, we got knocked out in the quarterfinals, so nothing there. In fact, the only piece of silverware we won was the Community Shield. Some people don't even count that, but I am going to because I'm desperate. Romeo Beckham has another solid season of 21 goals and 21 assists. He seems to be getting about 20 goals and assists per season now very, very consistently. And he's up to 87. 85 career goals, 96 career assists, and only two trophies, the MLS and the Community Shield. For an 87 rated player, that really doesn't cut it. We've got like a Harry Kane career on our hands here. I am sure the trophies will come eventually and not just a Community Shield. We are only, by the way, very excitingly, five overall off of David Beckham's highest ever rating. We're nearly going to do it. And holy hell, what a big moment. We have a chance to win the Premier League title, a chance to wrap it up. With two games left, if we can get a win, we will seal the Premier League title. This is it, baby. This is it. Are we going to see the number seven of David Beckham lifting a Premier League trophy again? Our last game at home this season too. So, I mean, what a bloody time to do it. Come on, lads. Let's make sure that we do. Oh, oh, he's won it back in a brilliant spot here. This will be a glorious chance. And it is. It is Romeo Beckham to score at Old Trafford to maybe seal a Premier League title. Look at this pressure, just won back brilliantly by, is that Rashford? And on the right foot, Beckham can't miss. It was Gakpo, mind you, but what a lovely, tidy, slotting strike. How is that the get-up of a possible Premier League winning manager? I just cannot be stopped, neither can that man. He's one away from 20 in the Prem. Now he's Rashford. Oh, come on, it's going to be, surely. It's so poked in. Beckham gets an assist for Bellingham. Who would have thought this man would end up at Manchester United? He has, and he scored the second. He gets goals, he gets assists. A lovely header there for Bellingham. See Beckham here once again. He'll try to tee up another one. And we will get a third. It is going to be a very, very big day for United. We've got a promising position here with Romeo Beckham. Can I get it up over the wall? Oh, look, I'll try my best. Plenty of power. I don't know. Go. Oh, deflected off of the wall. Oh, should be a cross. It's a Beckham cross and it's another goal. Wow, he's got a hat-trick of assists. And now Starboy Rashford also scores today on the Premier League winning day. How about it? 
Oh, what a brilliantly won ball here. Rashford away. Little one there. And another. And another. And eventually it gets to Beckham. He'll slide it across. But one last chance. Trying to catch the keeper out here with a go from way out. Oh, no near halfway line goal that time, unfortunately. But still, an incredible way to seal the Premier League title. God knows why we ain't lifting it now. I guess I'll have to fast forward to the last game of the season. But whatever. It's sealed. It's done. We've won the league by 5-4. We've got... Man City can't catch us. I don't know why they didn't just bother showing us the trophy then and there. Oh, now I know why they didn't let us do it. Because we're going to lift it up in Man City's own stadium. That is disrespect. They're not going to win the title. And they're going to have to see their rivals lifted up in their own stadium. That is brutal. Well, I mean, hopefully we can do it with a win. That'd just be even more insane. Oh, we're definitely going to start off nice with a goal from Gakpo. Oh, oh, what a goal from Rashford from way out. God damn, we are winning this trophy in some style. Go on, number seven, Romeo Beckham. I need to see you get on the score sheet. Oh, no, I didn't need to see the other number seven get on the score sheet. What the hell? Oh, they found the equalizer through Phil Foden. I'm jumping in. Can a winner be found in the next 20 minutes? It's opened up. Oh, Rashford, it's opened up. Nice one there. The cross, I don't think is the right option. Not yet. Now it is. Now it is. Now it is. It's Romeo Beckham. Lovely diverting run from Romeo Beckham. He scores in the 83rd minute. And we have got ourselves in front once again. He sold his defender brilliantly. He's going right. No, he's going left. Grimaldo can't stay in front. Lovely header. There's his 20th goal in the Premier League. Wow. Brilliant work again. Rashford has got it here. He is clean away. He can seal this this title with another goal and what a way to finish it off against your rivals oh that's incredible 4-2 victory premier league sealed in your rivals home stadium doesn't get any bigger than that manchester city now nah, you gotta fold after that you just have to simply gotta be the greatest disrespect i've ever seen in the prem you beating your title rivals, your actual rivals in their own stadium on the final day and you get to lift up the trophy and not them in their home ground. I would never ever forget this day if I was a rival fan, whether I was on the right end or the wrong end. Captain Scott McTominay to get the honours. How mental is that? With a Beckham beside him and behind him, it's in, it's done. It is the first trophy in the trophy cabinet, the first major trophy in Romeo Beckham's career. This is just next level disrespect. I'm sorry, I can't get over it. Manchester United winning it in the Etihad, man. Parading it around like that, oh, it's like Arsenal at White Hart Lane vibes. They actually also won the Carabao Cup, also against Manchester City, amazingly. So close in the Champions League too, but out in the semi-finals. A shame too, because with a 90 overall, numbers like this, his best season by far, and a Premier League title, he's on for a Ballon d'Or. Could he win it? He's got about 250 career goal contributions now, bloody Romeo Beckham, and he's two overall away from equaling his father's overall, and one away, three away, should I say, from becoming better than him. Moving into the ninth season of Romeo Beckham's career, it is 2030, it is a World Cup year. He wasn't selected for 2026, but he, of course, is selected for 2030. No Harry Kane anymore, so it's Rashford, Foden, and, of course, Beckham up top as the front three. England did make it out of their group, only coming second though Ghana topping the group but they come up against France and typical Mbappe scoring and France knock out England again what a shame sadly a short-lived World Cup campaign but look we've won the Premier League can Romeo Beckham win a Champions League and can he win the Ballon d'Or this season as well oh he has won a Ballon d'Or wow well there you go Romeo Beckham doesn't win the uh, Champions League but he doesn't need to 91 overall 28 years of age David Beckham didn't win a Ballon d'Or Romeo Beckham did. And I honestly get the feeling he might just get to a 93 by the end of this season. Who knows? Well, well, we end up finishing this season with 101 points, which is a Premier League record. We picked up another Community Shield. Did we do anything in the actual FA Cup? We won that as well. Jesus Christ, we even won the Carabao Cup. We did a... We were formidable, or whatever they, whatever Man City called it. We won everything in England. And we have also, for the first time in Romeo Beckham's career, made a Champions League final. Romeo Beckham's actually up to a 92 overall as well. And if we win this bloody hell, surely Romeo Beckham's going to go back to back in the Ballon d'Or. I have also said bugger it and given Romeo Beckham the armband of Manchester United. 
he leads them out into the Champions League final as well. And you can't help but feel whoever wins this Champions League final wins the next Ballon d'Or when it features bloody Rome uh, Romeo Beckham and killing Mbappe. So who's going to take it home then here in the Bernabeu? Let's find out. PSG to kick it off. Here we go. A little touch there from Beckham. There's a lot of space there for Rashford and he heads home! Marcus Rashford scores the opening goal again against PSG. He loves it. And of course, it's a typical Beckham-esque type of cross right onto his noggin. Marcus Rashford can't not score against Paris Saint-Germain. Oh, that is a, what a ball. Oh, it's gonna be Romeo Beckham in here. Surely he'll finish and he will. Romeo Beckham scores in a Champions League final. That is a huge moment once again for Manchester United. The poor defender couldn't stay up with him and it was a simple finish. Romeo Beckham passed Gianluigi Donnarumma. Could Manchester United be making it four? And I reckon that will just about do it for half time. Ha ha. Bex is on his way. Surely we're going to see him lift up a Champions League title. Giving him a lot of space here. Mbappe, that's not what you want to do. Andre Onana bails us out. Oh, just about got that through as well. Here we go with Bex. I'm going to try the power strike. Oh, no way. How on earth has he scored this? That is a thunderbolt of a strike into the top corner. His dad played in the Bernabeu. I don't think I've seen him score a goal as good as that. Oh, fucking hell. Camavinga skinned us all. Oh, Nana with another save. But that is it, time is up, people. Manchester United win another Champions League title and Romeo Beckham is the star of the final. They simply win everything there was to possibly win in a season and surely that man's going back to back in the Ballon d'Or. He will also get the honor of lifting up the Champions League title. The first trophy lift he gets as captain is the European Championship. His father won a Champions League, now he's won a Champions League. It is just all too perfect, it's amazing. He equals his father, he doesn't surpass him in overall, but 30 and 40, that's even better than when he last won the Ballon d'Or, he's surely gonna do it again. 144 career goals, 171 career assists in nine seasons. He also goes from four trophies in his career to nine in just the space of one season. Winner, 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 chicken dinner, an insane season, and there's only one more thing left to win. Does he get the Ballon d'Or? Let's fast forward once more. And yes, yes he does. Back to back Ballon d'Ors, baby. And look at that overall, 93. He's gone past David Beckham's highest overall. High overall, one, two Ballon d'Ors, just in general been a gun. I think I can say it. We have made Romeo Beckham better than David Beckham. Let me know if you want a part two of this video where I just finish his career completely. Be sure to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed. Cheers, legends, and I'll see you for the next one.